In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very common problem when it comes to artwork manipulation here in CorelDRAW. Now, this was artwork that was sent to us by a customer having a bit of an issue. And what we're going to do is explain what the issue is and how to fix it. And in the broader scope, what they're wanting to do here is they're wanting to prep this artwork for doing glitter. So they actually want to do glitter with glitter. So maybe a red glitter and a silver gl glitter, for example. And we have to prep our file in a certain way that allows us to have two glitter colors touching one another. Ne there needs to be just a shade of an overlap, not much, just a little bit of overlap between the colors so your shirt material don't show where the two colors meet. Okay? So that's kind of what we're, uh, what we're going to do at this point. So let me show you how this works. First of all, let's take a look at the problem. If we move the red away from the gray and go into wireframe mode, notice that we just have the outline of our gray. Now let's go back to enhance mode and do what they were trying to do, which was take the red, holding the shift key, select the gray, and choose the simplify option right here. There it is, simplify. And then if we move the red away from the gray, what should happen if when you're using that simplify function, what should happen is any area that's underneath the red of our gray should be trimmed away. So it's almost like the red acts as a bit of a cookie cutter and actually cuts a hole in our gray. But if we move the red away, you could see that we do in fact not have a hole. And that's problematic. But Go back to wireframe mode and see what you do have. Look at there. You do, where the red overlapped the gray, there's actually a secondary line there. So something did happen in that simplify function, but not what we expected to have happen. There should be a hole there, and there isn't. And when you're back in enhanced mode, the, the cut lines are there, but there's no hole there. Okay. So I'm just going to back up here. So now we're back to the original here. If we go back into wireframe, we just have our outline of our gray there. All right. So how to fix it? Because it's a very, very common problem. And honestly, I can't tell you exactly why the problem exists, um, but I can tell you how you can very easily fix it. And the way you fix it is simply double click on either shape. It really doesn't matter which one you do. Let's just make a duplicate to prove the point. So we're going to make a duplicate set just to prove the point. So if we double click on our red, what that does is that automatically takes you into our shaping tool. And there's an option right here along this new toolbar. In fact, if I go get out of our shaping tool, notice these tools here. If I double click on red, watch those tools change. See, now the tools have changed. And there's this option right here, reverse direction. It will reverse the direction of the red curve. Okay, so now watch what happens. Now if we take the red, hold the shift key, select the gray, and choose the simplify option, guess what happens? We get our result that we want to get. Watch. Ta-da! Now we have a hole. All right? So in, the orig in that scenario, we took the red and reversed the direction of the red. Now just to prove the point, if we double-click on our gray, reverse the curve on our gray, and then go ahead and do the same thing. Select the red, hold the shift key, select the gray, choose the simplify command, and move it away. Ta-da! So we have the exact same result either way. And that's, that's basically the point I wanted to make, um, is that if you run into a situation like that, reversing the curve of one of the curves or other will fix the problem, and then you'll get the hole that you expect. Now let's just make sure we're back to square one again, which we are. All right, so now let's talk about actually prepping this file. We actually have a new set of tools that we're working on um, that will totally automate this process uh, because it's a multi-step process, but it's pretty easy um, once you understand how it works. So to prep this file for glitter, here's what you want to do. You want to go ahead and select our red. We're going to go to our contour tool. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to type in one millimeter. Now, the amount of offset you use really is entirely up to you. I would recommend starting with a millimeter and see what your preference is. Do you like it? 
Do you not like it? Whatever the case might be. Okay, so we'll start with a millimeter. And then this button right here in the middle, it says inside contour, outside contour. And I've honestly, I've never used this option, which is to center. So we're going to do inside contour. And you can see we have just that little bit of overlap. Then we're going to right click and choose break contour group apart. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select our black, hold our shift key, select our gray, and we're going to do the simplify option. Now, if we move our gray, you can see it does have a hole in it like it's supposed to, which is good. So now we can just delete our black. And now our file is perfectly set for glitter. And now if we go into wireframe mode, you can see this more distinctly. Watch this line right here and this line right here. So this is where the two colors are meeting visually, but watch what happens when I switch over to wireframe mode. See that third line up here? So this is the edge of the red. This is the silver. So the red is overlapping the silver by one millimeter. And like I say, once you actually apply this to a shirt, you may decide that you want either more or less of an offset. All right. But now you can see that that red is going to overlap our silver just that little bit. And now you should have a nice, perfect result. So if we want to just come in here and just for fun, let's go ahead and uh, we'll give this a red fill and we'll give this a silver fill and we'll throw a weed box around it just so we can get the full effect. So you can see how great the effect is. And like I say, when you go into wireframe mode, you can see that red, how it's overlapping the silver just that little bit there. And that should give you a really nice finished result when you want to do glitter with glitter and have the two colors touching like that. We're going to have just a tiny bit of overlap. So hopefully that explains a little bit better how this works and be able to set up your file um, for your, your glitter projects. And anytime that you're trying to do a trim function or a simplify function and it's not cutting the hole like you'd expect it to, then you know automatically that you have to reverse the direction of one of the curves or the other. And then it will go ahead and perform the function like it's supposed to. Thanks for watching.